Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how you can create a space shooter. It can be in 2D or 3D. The principle is the same. But for this tutorial, it will be in 2D. So let's get started. So I have an empty project here. Let's start by creating a new folder. Let's call it sprites. And let's import the sprites that we'll be using. I'll be using the Kenny space shooter sprites. They are free. I will leave the link in the description, just go ahead and download it. You can donate to him, he's a really awesome guy, he has a lot of sprites free for you to use. You can check them out. Let's go back to Unity. And let's import our sprites. We'll be starting by creating the backgrounds, so let's open the background folder. Uh, first let's go to our main camera. And reset the transform. Let's select orthographic and let's select 2D on our scene and let's create a new object, create empty, let's reset it and let's call it background and as a child let's create a sprite, let's name it background0. And let's select our purple sprite. Sorry, first you need to convert it. Now we can drag it. Let's increase the size. Let's say seven and four. Now let's select our camera and the position let's increase it to like maybe minus 5, let's say minus 10, like so, now you can see the background. Now we need to create, duplicate this two times, so let's copy and paste it. Let's name this one background 1 and this one background 2. And let's move them, so background 0 goes below. The size should be minus 10. You can see it's fine, you need to make sure that the size is correct. So the background 2 should be 10. Yeah, they're perfect. And now let's create our script for the background, so it rolls. Let's name it background scroll. And let's open it. Let's start by creating a list of transforms. Let's call it background list equals new list transform. Uh, let's create also two variables, a float background background speed and a float sprite size. We know it's 10 already, so let's set it as default to 10. Let's make it serializable, both of them. And I'll we need to create a new function. Let's say fill list void fill fill list. And now we'll be adding the children from the transform to our list. So for each transform background sprite in get component get components in children. Here it is. Transform.
we'll add to the background list the background sprite like so and we add this one so we remove the parent because we don't need a parent it doesn't have any sprite here it's remove it like so so we can comment it we remove the parent because the parent doesn't have any sprite all right um, let's move on let's make this fixed update and let's create a for so for less than background list dot count if background list i dot position dot y less or less or equal then less this sprite size times one point five. The background list i dot position equals new vector three background list i dot position dot x sprite size divided by two uh, sorry plus sprite size divided by two like so background list i dot position dot z this should be constant like so and then the background list i dot position equals new vector three background list i dot position dot x background list dot position position oh sorry i forgot the i position dot y minus 0.1f times our background speed how fast do we want it to scroll and again the background list dot position dot z should be constant so we for each uh, sprite in the background we check if it's below the screen if it's below the screen we move it back up otherwise we keep moving it down so let's save this and let's test it out let's go back to unity yeah i forgot semicolon let's try it uh, don't forget to give a background speed let's say two and let's play it and you can see now you have a, an infinite scrolling background if we check our scene you can see what's happening so when it reaches down here it moves up and keeps going forever so we have our background down now let's move on before that i just want to let you know that this is your really cool script because you can just duplicate this and change the sprite on this one so let's give it a new one wait a second sprites backgrounds let's have the the blue make it sprite let's change it here to the blue let's make it a bit transparent so like 63 and let's change the speed to 0.5 make it on top like so so minus three maybe it's too much transparent and let's play it so with this yeah it's not perfect but with this you can have different depths to the background you can just keep going and have many many layers looks way cooler 
I'll stop here because I don't want the video to get much longer. Uh, on the next part, we'll be creating the player with the, the new input system. So we can use the keyboard or a controller like a PS4 controller or something like that. Which is really cool to play this type of games with. So yeah, tomorrow I will upload the second part and I'll see you on the next video.